Welcome to Florida and to Taylor Lane near Fort Lauderdale, in fact right next to the airport. And behind me is the premises of Director Yachts and we've come to look round their extensive refit facilities. For yachts inbound from the Atlantic, reaching the yard is easy via the Port Everglades off-cut canal, which only has one height restriction, overhead cables with 40 metres of clearance. The fully serviced yard was founded in 1964 by ocean racer Bob Director to supplement his existing yard in New York. Our guide for our visit was marketing director James Brewer, a veteran of the Florida refit industry. He gave us a tour between the tropical downpours that accompany the humidity and dramatic skyscapes of late September. We are a full service uh, mega yacht repair, maintenance and refit facility catering to vessels uh, from 50 to 65 meters in length and performing a range of services, uh, primarily hard shipyard skills, um, that would be propulsion equipment, fabrication, uh, pipe fitting, uh, and all aspects of mechanical repair. We find ourselves in the center of the largest concentration of marine related businesses anywhere in the world. So from a geographical standpoint, we're very fortunate. Uh, we have a, a seasonal business that um, enjoys a, something of a slowdown in the, in the summer between August and September, um, though that has not proven to be true for the last several years. We have been able to um, bring our numbers back to pre-recession pre levels, although our mix of business has changed slightly from a refit-centric model to a more volume-based model. The uh, existing travel lift, or mobile boat hoist, uh, was built by a company called Chimolai Technology in Italy. Uh, provides us with 900 ton, 900 short ton capacity, 820 metric tons, and allows us to lift uh, a typical vessel of up to 200 feet in length. We also have um, a 200 ton machine, similar in, in, uh, in specification and capability, being delivered at the end of September from the same manufacturer which will provide our smaller customers with a more cost-effective solution in terms of haul out and also provide us with the ability to uh, use the facility even more efficiently in terms of space. The building was originally constructed with the expectation of using it as a build hall for both repair and new construction. Over the years, um, you know, the market has changed somewhat and it's presently used largely for fabrication and for uh, pipe fitting purposes and also uh, mechanical repairs. We have a fair bit of, um, of capital equipment, uh, shear, press brake, roll, uh, hydraulic bending machine, all the typical heavy tools that one would expect in a, in a shipyard environment. But as, as far as possible, we try to keep things mobile so that this facility can be uh, modified to accommodate any particular construction project we may have. The market has changed such that much of uh, refit work and new construction, joiner work is now performed in, um, in mill working shops a long way from the ocean. So the need for a, uh, a fully, uh, fully fledged joiner shop in a facility such as ours is somewhat diminished. We therefore facilitate the installation of, uh, of joiner work uh, constructed elsewhere, but less and less do we find ourselves being asked to, uh, to perform a complete interior refit uh, on site. You know, so often the, uh, the joiner work will be, um, will be fabricated sometimes well in, in advance of the vessel even coming to the shipyard. So it's much more of an installation uh, work scope than it is a demolition and fabrication work scope. Each one of our project managers brings a certain aspect of, of the trades to the table. Uh, we have a 500 ton uh, captain's license holder. We have a accredited chief engineer. Uh, we have an individual from the marine electronics field. We have an individual from a composite field and uh, three boat builders. 
we have a very collaborative uh, management system, so each project manager is expected to support the others in terms of, of expertise and, and, um, and capability. That said, each client or each client vessel is assigned a project manager who becomes his single point of contact, and we find that this uh, greatly facilitates communication between the uh, between the vessel and, and the shipyard, facilitates scheduling, and makes the, the process run as smoothly as possible. Our mission in life is to uh, complete projects on time and on budget, which in the yachting industry is sometimes challenging because work scopes change, uh, but there's always a, um, a sense of keeping one's eye on the clock because we have found that our clients value time far more than they do money. Um, many of our clients have you know, very little time in which to enjoy their boats and therefore schedule is everything and we uh, are certainly mindful of that in the ways we uh, we manage projects and allow projects to, uh, to s sort of synchronize with each other. The same project manager is assigned to uh, a given vessel on subsequent uh, yard periods. This provides an opportunity for a relationship to be developed between the crew and the project manager and also allows for technical continuity uh, so that um, a project manager is not having to, to relearn the boat um, every time he takes on a project. We have found this over the years to be a pretty effective way to, to uh, run the shipyard. Um, we are focused on repeat business. We find that 65 to 70 percent of our business every year is repeat. Um, obviously there is always some um, attrition given that boats change hands and crews change, but we are um, blessed with a very loyal and uh, you know, very consistent customer base that is uh, back in the yard year on year, year out.